Young's Double Slit Experiment In the year 1801, scientist Thomas Young discovered the interference of two light waves experimentally. In his experiment, he used an opaque material X with a pinhole S in it. A monochromatic light, like a sodium vapor lamp, is allowed to pass through this pinhole, as shown. The light waves passing through S are then passed through another opaque material with two pinholes, S1 and S2, which are at a distance D apart and equidistant from the pinhole S. Spherical waves emerging from the two pinholes S1 and S2 form a spherical interference pattern of varying intensity on the screen MN. This may be repeated by using slits instead of pinholes. Alternate bright and dark bands are formed on the screen MN. These bands are equidistant and of equal thickness. Here, the dotted line represents troughs, and thick lines represent crests. When the crest and trough of a wave fall on the crest and trough of another wave respectively, we get two constructive interference patterns, and a bright band is observed on the screen MN. Similarly, when a crest of one wave falls on the trough of another wave, and the trough of one wave falls on the crest of another wave, we get a destructive interference pattern, a dark band. This type of bright and dark bands may be observed regularly on the screen MN, forming an interference pattern. In the figure, we may observe O bright bands and X dark bands. Light energy is not lost in this phenomenon. Transfer of light occurs from minimum intensity points to maximum intensity points. In this figure, the two light waves travel equal distances to reach point A on the screen MN. They will be in phase. Hence, a constructive interference pattern occurs and a bright fringe is formed. In this figure, light waves from S1 and S2 reach point B on the screen MN. Even though S1 travels more distance than S2, they will be in phase. In this, the wave from the slit S1 will be one wavelength behind the wave from slit S2 in reaching the point beyond the screen. Then, a constructive interference pattern is formed, that is, the bright fringe. In this figure, waves from the slits S1 and S2 come out in phase. But the wave from S1 slit falls behind by half a wavelength to that of slit S2 to reach the point C on the screen MN. The crest of the wave from S1 falls on the trough of the wave from S2. It leads to a destructive interference pattern, that is, the dark fringe on the screen. Young's double slit experiment geometrical construction is as shown. Path difference R2 minus R1 is equal to delta, which is equal to d sine theta. Here, we consider that R1 and R2 are parallel, and L is much greater than D.